Hi everybody, welcome to the Travel YouTube chat for July 2nd, 2024. So strap on, right? Because we have a lot going on today. So the key for today is to allow yourself over the today and quite frankly in the next few weeks, especially before the sun moves into Leo, to really do a check in with yourself about what you need to be nurtured, what you need to be cared for, how you can take the leadership position in nurturing and caring for yourself and being that energy of care and patience that the quote unquote ideal mother would offer. And if you haven't had these things in your past life or in your current life, allowing yourself to really learn how to do that and commit to that especially since we now have Neptune joining the retrograde party in Pisces, which means we now have Saturn and Neptune retrograde in Pisces. And Neptune is going to be retrograde until December 7th. So we have this really long consideration of our emotions, right? Neptune retrograde asks us to reconsider our dreams, our visions, our addictions, our relationship to institutions, our subconscious, our imagination, and really highlighting where we have been, especially when we consider the fact that Saturn is also retrograde in Pisces, made structures for that in our life. And in one way or another, all of us have a deficit around this. Maybe we weren't really taught it. Maybe we weren't allowed to have it. Maybe there was a lot of trauma, so we didn't really get to enter into this space. But the universe, you know, the God is saying, okay, it's time to stop and think about this, um, especially since, and I want to do a little preview, we're going to have Saturn moving into Aries at some point. And so there's really going to be an energetic... Um, reckoning or benefit about what you've done with yourself, particularly with the universe, what God has put inside of you to do in this life. And so with this new energy on play, uh, let yourself consider. And we also have Mercury moving into Leo and Mercury is moving into Leo is going to be making oppositions to Pluto and Aquarius. And throughout the month, especially as the other planets move into Leo, meaning the sun and Venus, they're also going to be having oppositions to Pluto retrograde and Aquarius. And so there is this challenge of wondering or considering, are you like the cowardly lion? Are you, do you have a roar, but you don't have bite? Are you fully aware of the creativity and strength inside of yourself? What has been limiting these things? So we are in this great like soul reconsideration. And a huge part of this is going to be knowing what to let go. And you're going to have an intuitive knowing around this. That's why it's going to be really important to like take time and really listen, meditate, pray, uh, connect with the source, the divine source in your life and in yourself. So you have uh, a courage about doing what's being called for you to do. And Neptune hasn't gone retrograde in Pisces for a very, very, very long time. I think it's like over 100 years. And so this is a matter of, if you're a believer in reincarnation, this is a matter of like your soul completing something and releasing something that it's been trying to understand and struggle with for a really long time. And if you're not one of those people, then it is an invitation for you just to be aware of where your soul is right now. Now, to add all of the wonderful excitement we have, right, we also have Mercury in a trine with Neptune. And so there is going to be this divine conversation about what you're going to be growing, what needs to be learned, what needs to be nurtured. We also have Venus in a trine with Saturn and Saturn retrograde. So again, there's this invitation of like putting your emotions together and, re and with how you're connecting with other people and seeing what needs to be adjusted there. We do have Mercury having a sextile uh, with the moon that moved into Gemini at 1142 a.m. So the first half of the morning, it's all about Taurus, what we have. The second half of the day, it's all about how we're connecting with other people. Again, that self and other axis is really being uh, ignited throughout the day. We also have the moon in a semi-square with the sun and a semi-square with the north and the south node. And so here's that irritation the universe is saying like, okay, I need you to check in about how you are showing up with yourself. Are you being authentic in your relationships? Are you being authentic with yourself? What needs to be released? What needs to be challenged? What needs to be changed? This is also implied by the fact that we have the moon in a sextile to Neptune, a trine to Pluto, a semi-square to Mars, and a square to the nodes, as I mentioned. So again, Again, there's a lot of energy today that's saying take your time and consider what type of royal you're going to be. And over the years, I've always said to you guys, you know, royalty is not about what it appears to other people. It's about being willing to do what you need to do for your kingdom and your empire. And that includes considering other people. It includes considering yourself and not just the material, but the intangible parts of life as well. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you tomorrow.